Let's take a look at a very, very basic choke, which will probably never work for you. But with that said, it is one you should know, and it is one you should try, because it does lead in to your osaikomi, your arm locks, your sankakus, your other jujikatamis. And it's a great way just to get a reaction from your opponent and start the chain of events, okay? Which is one of the reasons why I use it. So let's say that I'm underneath my partner's chin and I get a good solid grip here, okay? We're not gonna take a loose grip to practice this technique. We're gonna have it nice and solid. Okay, let's turn sideways a little bit. There we go. Now, now that I have a good solid grip here on my partner, I'm just gonna take my right knee and I'm gonna bring it over the top of his head. So whatever hand is choking, that same leg is gonna step over the head. But when I step over the head, I'm not gonna put my foot down. When I step over the head, my knee is gonna come down. That way I can sit up and now I can pull and choke my partner. And again, it's not the strongest choke, but it does cause your partner to turn out, which opens up into other things. So let's turn this way a little bit. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. There, you guys stay there. So I'm here. I've got underneath, okay? I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna step over, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step up here, and you can see that I'm underneath his chin. But the other thing he does is as I'm pulling, you can see that he's starting to defend the choke by loosening it up. That's what's gonna allow me to hook this arm, turn that corner, keep a good solid grip on the collar, tighten up on the elbows a little bit, and finish the pin here, where I can hold my osaikomi nice and strong with my underhook on the far side. So that's one of the reasons why I really like this choke, is it just opens up so many other avenues here, where even if I'm not underneath the chin, maybe I'm over his face, right, because he kept it down low, it's still gonna cause a little bit of pain, a little bit of pressure to generate that reaction. So if he keeps his chin down, and I come over the jawline here, I come up, I can still hook and I can still let go. Right now, I can sit in, boom, and I can hit my Sankaku because my partner opened up for it. So it's a great gateway into a lot of different techniques and it's one everybody should be practicing.